Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. Today, we are gonna talk about the simplicity of the Power Grip machine. The machine is made to make your training and your use of this machine very easy and uncomplicated, unlike other systems. With the Power Grip system, you have a simple door, which is a lever operated system to open. I have a pull out and a press in button that are illuminated to tell me which mode the machine is in. I have a simple e-stop button and the machine runs on 110 volts. When it comes time for the operator to use the machine, it's very simple to change the modes. If he wants to do a press in mode, he would press the press in button and the machine will cycle to that mode. For pull out or to remove a tool, he would press the pull out button and the machine would cycle to that mode getting ready for the operation. How does that look? Well, let's do a quick demo. Here I have a power grip tool holder that is unassembled. Simply open the door, put the tool in, close the door and press the press in button. This takes about seven to 10 total seconds for the cycle. Now what you'll notice is I didn't have to do anything to the machine to tell it what pressure to generate or how long it should take to put that tool in. That's because it's all done automatically in the machine. The machine has a series of dies and the dies are what allow me and allow the machine to know what pressure to generate. So I put it in its bottom position. Now if I simply remove the die, I can show you how the machine works and knows what pressure to generate. On the back of each insert, there are five different ones from PG6 through PG32. They are pinned. There's a pin depending on where it's at that presses against a series of micro switches in the back of the machine. Those micro switches tell the power grip machine what pressure to generate. So the operator using the machine just has to get the correct die into the machine. And that's fairly simple. Each die has a small hook that goes over a channel in the door and then it just slides the rest away into the machine. It's that simple to set this machine up for PG25 in this case. Now that the correct die is in the machine, I can go back to that tool holder that we just assembled and I can get it ready for disassembly. I'm going to put this small groove that's in the top of the tool holder on the lip in the die. What you're going to notice here is that the tool itself, the holder itself, is hanging down below. Unlike other systems that require adapters or pots for each taper type being used, as long as you are using a PG25 tool holder or the nose or collet size of our tool, you don't have to worry about the taper type, whether it be HSK, Capto, or any of the steep tapers, because the taper hangs below and really is inconsequential to this assembly or disassembly process. This holder is now ready for disassembly. Close the door, close the handle, press the button. Doesn't take much to use the power grip machine. It is made to be simply used and simply trained.